Today we're starting with lunch and today I made bibimbap. I was really craving cold noodles and I just decided I'm going to eat it. Mm. Mm. I've been really good about following a diet since like all of June and a little bit of late May, but unfortunately some bad news has fell upon me um, and I'm just not ready to talk about it yet. It's very sensitive still. Um, I will probably address it later, but this week I just like, I'm so over everything. So I just like stopped working out and I honestly do feel really sluggish. So today I will be eating, indulging in my bibimbap, but I will have to work out today no matter what I decided. So today, we have a lot of cleaning to do. So I have to clean the floor um, because we, there's just like, I think Henry, <clears throat> I think it's shedding season for Henry because literally there's like cat fur everywhere. He never sheds this much. So I have to sweep for the floor and then we're going to vacuum it. Then I gotta get under the sofa and the bed because he likes to sit there. I think cause it's cooler. He likes to sit there sometimes. Um, so I got a robot vacuum there. It's funny because I never turn on these lights that are on the walls. I love the color, but I just never turn it on because it clashes with everything in the room. <laughs> but on camera, it makes everything look so much brighter. So I've just decided that whatever I film, I'll just turn the lights on because it is pretty bright but normally I have all my little lamps on but it's very orange so it just looks so dark and just like too warm and yeah but I will say in person it looks so much better like in person all my lamps make the room look very like vibey Before I do my workout, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about what I'm doing with my workouts and kind of just like how I am staying active right now. So originally before quarantine, I was going to the gym and I was taking these classes. I was taking a cycling class and I was also taking a, a total body conditioning class where you got to use like weights and it's kind of like a mixture of like everything um, and that was really really fun I actually really really enjoyed it when we got into quarantine going to the gym wasn't an option so I was starting to do this girl on YouTube called mad fit um, I was doing a combination of like yoga and Pilates for a little bit and then I decided I wanted to use weights and she had some low impact ones that were still like a hit style so I did mad fit for a while but then 
I also felt like there were a lot of exercises I didn't really like and I felt like it just wasn't working out for me. So then when I came back to New York, I decided to take all the exercises that I did like from her and then turn them into gifts and then make my own workout plan. So now I have like probably around three or four workout like albums on my phone where I just go through and they're like gifts um, and I take it from Mad Fit and then I also take it from like Instagram whenever I'm on Instagram and I see like someone doing a cool exercise that I really want to try or implement in my workout I will also do that so like this is an example of like kind of what I do this is like a Mad Fit exercise and it just keeps on looping so that I understand what the exercise is but then instead of doing it in a time I can do it by rep and sets all of these are things I've just taken off of Instagram and I just, you can just like click whatever and it'll show you what to do. I try to do four days of exercise and I also have a day where I only do the bare minimum when I don't want to do a whole workout, but I still feel like I should be somewhat active. So then I do my bare minimums and then on the weekend, I try to just like chill and rest. And I mean, if I'm feeling motivated to work out, then sure, I'm work out, but that rarely happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because that's just been like really working out for me. So I'm going to just work out now. I feel like there's no point in me showing you guys me working out. It's, I just follow videos, that's all. So I'm really sorry, I look like such a mess right now. I just, I don't know, I wanted to be comfortable. <laughs> um, but I have nothing crazy going on as per usual, but I took off my nails yesterday because the color is coming off and I kind of want to do something brighter because the weather has been really nice. And I just wanted something like cool and refreshing. So I decided to do my nails today and I'm going to be painting it this like blue color. It's a lot brighter than probably what's coming out, but my nails have grown out a lot. I don't know if this is gross to some people, but I think it's pretty, but I am going to paint them um, just because this week is my birthday. So I want to look really good for my birthday, even though I'm staying home the whole time, but that's okay. I don't think you guys have ever seen the apartment like from this view, because normally I actually sit on the other side of the table. So you just see my white wall, but um, yeah, today Henry is in the closet. So I want to be able to keep my eyes on him. So I'm just going to sit here and if he comes down and he wants to come down, I'm going to let him go down. The nail polish that I'm using is the Three Concept Eyes Style Nanda Nail Polish um, in BL10. I got this like a long time ago. I honestly buy a lot of things from this brand. Like a lot of my makeup is from 3CE. Um, my mirror that you probably see whenever I do my makeup is 3CE. Um, I really like their lip products. I like I like a lot of their products actually. Um, it's like a Korean brand, but they also ship to America. So you guys should check them out. I really like them. But anyways, I'm going to do my nails and I'm going to just watch Grey's Anatomy because that's, I don't know, I'm re-watching the whole thing all over again. weather the blue is like really like it's like uh i don't know how to say it in english it's just like refreshing <laughs> it's a nice color i do like this color um it is a lot with like long nails but i think it's fine i'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit more this is the quickie finisher i actually used to use one from etude house but then I felt like it was probably unnecessary to buy continuously overseas. So I found this one that they sell at Etsy. And you just like put it on each finger, drop a little drop, and um, it helps it dry faster. But I kind of like to wait for it to dry a little bit before I put the dropper on. So I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I will probably put the dropper on. 
Okay, some time has passed, so now I'm going to apply the dropper. But I thought I'd show you guys how I how I apply it. Essentially, I just take a little drop, and I drop the beginning, and I tilt it around to make sure that I get an even coat. You don't usually need more than one drop, to be honest. And that's it. I will say that the drops make your fingertips a little oily, so try not to touch a lot of things. But these are my nails. Very pretty, pretty.